Welcome, Scorpio and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a singles love read. These are intended for new love. Know that time is fluid. So for some of you, this could be resonated as a past situation that maybe you've already experienced, a current situation that you find yourself in right now, or even a future one, okay? There are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that would like to skip ahead, as well as the decks that I use are always listed down below. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What needs to come through? The Moon. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Cancer. The Tower. Okay, Scorpio energy. Got a lot of water here on the table. The Star, Aquarius energy. And the Three of Coins. Three out of four major arcana. This is a really big energy. This is a hit. This is a major major person coming into your life this person has a very significant role to play in your future okay this could be your person this could be your forever person for some of you the moon the tower the star there's a lot of um unexpectedness with this scorpio this is your energy okay I feel that you are really good at camouflaging how you feel, hiding your emotions, protecting yourself. But this person kind of comes in out of nowhere and completely changes the game. They, they shift everything around. It's like you can't hide from them. And this shocks you. It, I mean, it, it's like shaking you to your core. It's like you don't... The ground beneath you begins to to crumble, to crack. And not in a negative way. It's just like, I'm starting to get really emotional. Like, my eyes are welping up with tears. Um, for some of you, you've never experienced anything like this. This person is very healing. They are everything that you've dreamt of. Now, some of you could work with this person. Some of you may have some kind of school or... Um, financial tied to this person. But it's interesting for me because, you know, we do have three out of four major arcana here, but the three of coins in this deck shows him working on the judgment card, okay? Which is about decisions and choices, finalizations, announcements, an answer. You're making a decision about this person. Let's start with the moon. There's a lot of hidden feelings. A lot of things you tried to hide. The moon can be fear, insecurity, worry, doubt. And that, and that does not say you, that you lack confidence, but there are things that, you know, all of us kind of hide or uh, try to camouflage or keep to ourselves. There's some kind of emotional energy here, like the softness in you that you, you put on a very tough persona. And it doesn't mean that you're not strong, because I didn't say that. I do feel that. But... You know, that vulnerability. You don't let a lot of people see that side of you. This person sees right through it. This is really unexpected for you. Now, the tower can be a very phallic card as well. So, you know, really a strong physical chemistry. A lot of sexual tension with this person. Unexpected. I mean, just out of nowhere, this person kind of came in and, and rocked your world. You know, it's changing things up. With the star, this is something that you've wished for, you've hoped for, you've prayed for, you've dreamt about. And it's here. The star is fantasy. The star, whether they are physically male or female, it does not matter. The star is somebody that you see, that you feel very drawn to, that's somebody that people admire, they respect. Someone that can be very healing. It's wish fulfillment. It could be someone that gets a lot of attention. It could be someone who's very attractive. All right, what else? Five of coins. Now, this person may have some kind of financial struggles or some kind of change in their job or living situation for some of you. That's not for all of you. Could we deal with a Libra? She may have a strong Libra in their chart. Of coins. 
Okay, I'll, I'm gonna be real with you. Now, for some, uh, I'll say take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't force messages that are not meant for you, okay? You may find that all of the reading resonates, parts of it, just one sentence could be specifically meant for you. None of it may resonate, okay? But for somebody, and your person may have gone through a divorce or separation, um, and they're rebuilding things, okay? They're rebuilding things. They're getting what they deserve, what what's owed to them. Some of them could have been in a legal battle. And that, that does not mean they're still attached or living with someone because I don't feel that. Um, maybe they're kind of at the tail end of something, okay? Or there was some wrong. They were like um, struggling financially or they were building a business or going through like a financial issue. This person's coming out on top. They could have sold a property. They could have bought like a, a bad investment property. Um, got burnt, but I feel like things are dramatically turning around. We're going from the five of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. But what I do want to say for the collective, for the predominant energy of this message that I'm seeing here, this person felt very alone. Okay. This person had been looking for quite some time for somebody who made them feel connected because they haven't felt that with anybody either. And so it enters you. Out of nowhere, the Four of Wands, 11-11. Some of you, this could be a twin flame connection, maybe a strong soulmate. The star can be an indicator of like a twin flame reunion situation for some of you. Obviously, that could be very specific. Um, that's not for all of you. The Justice card is the scale is getting balanced here. It's getting uh, what you deserve. Choices, decisions being made. With the Ten of Pentacles here, I mean, you guys are, look at this. Look, they're alone. They meet you. All that was wrong in the world is now righted because now they finally have somebody that they can trust and build with and, you know, that someone that deserves their energy and vice versa. It's fair. It's balanced. It's just. And you guys are building something beautiful together. Some of you could be starting a business with this person or building a home with this person. Under the deck is the Eight of Cups. With the Nine of Wands and the Two of Cups. So for some of you, this person has left behind a situation they're no longer invested in. They have put up strong boundaries, okay? And they are connecting with you. There's, you know, friendship, there's love, there's attraction, there's dating, it's fun, it's exciting. The strength card, Leo energy, and I did feel that for you guys, you know, being very strong, you know, enjoying this person's company, enjoying their energy after maybe a very difficult ending or situation, a lot of deception from the past, a lot of conflict that someone's escaping from because it was too difficult. They were tired of the situation, so something ended. Okay, I feel that, again, on your side or theirs, something about some kind of material financial change, a more stable connection, something that's fair, okay, something that's honorable, is unexpected. You were not anticipating this. You can't hide from this person. And I think it's mutual. I think and you may be wondering, you know, the, how, how can they see me so clearly, but you see them the same way. We have goals. It's time for you to take your goals off the back burner and go after them. What is it that you truly want? Do you want family? Do you want commitment? Do you want a home? Do you want a life with somebody? Do you want to focus on your career? What is it that you want? Making that your priority. Making that, you know, your focus at this time. You know, some of you may just be throwing your... I feel like this is similar to... Was it Pisces reading or Aquarius? Um, any, anyway, whatever the case may be here, it's like so focused on like your material success you know your home your your education and that's fantastic i'm not saying don't focus on those things um uh, but you you know it's kind of like somebody sitting at home you know i can't go out guys i gotta study again but never taking any time for themselves you know i would love to date but you know what i just tell yourself i just don't have time i just can't i can't i don't have time to date i don't have time to try i don't have to but do you wait Take time to think about the matter at hand. Don't be tempted to rush. Good things do take time, okay? And like I said, what's interesting here, we have don't take your take your goals off the back burner. Okay, go after them. And then we have wait. I feel like this is about making really important decisions. What is it that you want? Do you who who also had these cards? Was it um Sagittarius, I believe? Some of you are just focused on some kind of move or major decision or your person is but spirit's saying wait and i don't feel like it's in regards to going after this i feel like because 
uh, Sagittarius's reading was a little bit different when it comes to these cards. This, to me, feels like, like I'm saying, I'm not saying don't go to work, don't go to school, don't learn, don't grow, don't take a, you know. But this feels like stop putting so much energy into this. Like I say, and I'm not, I'm not telling anybody to stop doing things that are to better yourself. Don't misconstrue or change my words. Think about what you want. Wait a minute. Some of you may have some kind of major decision to move, which may take you from this person or vice versa. Maybe they do. That could be what part of this is about. Some kind of um, legal contract, some kind of uh, selling some kind of property. <clears throat> I think things are going to come out okay for the two of you together. I think there's a lot of confusion and like sadness, like wanting to be with each other right now. And someone's like really tempted to just make some kind of rash decision. Spirit's saying, wait. Some, there's going to be some kind of opportunity to change circumstances, to leave something behind, to close some kind of door, some kind of chapter. It's going to lead to someone's success. Someone being free to come to you, more financially secure, stable. Flow. You need to be more flexible in your life. Allow yourself to go with the flow. <clears throat> yeah. Someone's like anxious to like just pick up, leave, move without finalizing something, without doing something. There could be like a job opportunity that someone's like... Uh, you know, thinking about just going after or taking, spirit saying to wait, think about this, decide, kind of go with the flow, decide what it is you truly want, and then pursue that. There may be a better opportunity to make this come together. Because I mean, I see, I do see somebody going from the Five of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Two cards. <clears throat> We have decide. It's time for you to make a decision. Call upon your spirit guides for help. And we have guides. Your spirit guides are there to help you communicate with your spirit guides today. Somebody needs to take time to, to ask their angels, to ask their guides, to ask their ancestors for advice on how to proceed to move forward. Spirit is saying to wait. Don't make a decision just irrationally. Allow things to unfold naturally. There's Make your goals a priority. There's something about this connection growing. There could be commitment here. Good things do take time, but don't be afraid to pursue that. Don't hold back. Heal. You have a natural <clears throat> you have a natural gift for healing through your hands, words, or actions. This connection can be very healing for you and for them. From a lot of past situations, something something may have to clear out of the way completely first. Don't lose hope. Ask your angels and guides for signs, for synchronicities to show you the way. Ask for things that are specific. You know. It doesn't have to be, <clears throat> you know, something <clears throat> ordinary that you would see all the time. You know, ask for things specific. Show me a red scarf. Show me, you know, a blue jay. Show me, you know, a yellow rose. You know, whatever that pertains to be a specific song to give you a, a guidance, to show you the, cor the correct way, the path. They're protecting you at this time. They're trying to show Listen, wait, listen. They're showing you the way. You don't know if you can trust this, but Spirit says you can. Spirit says don't be afraid to give your heart. Be open with this. You're afraid of getting hurt of losing everything. There's a major improvement in your situation. Two people that want to build together. Something, obstacle, will clear out of the way so the two of you have a clear path. That's what I have for you. Hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you for those of you that like, share, subscribe. Thank you for those of you that do send in donations for the channel. It is truly appreciated. As always, I'm wishing you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.